sometimes we focus on the process and be like, oh, but yeah, I got to make 10 extra calls. Or, oh, but yeah, that probably means I got to work Saturday and Sunday. Or, oh, but yeah, that probably means I'm never going to see my family again. Well, what if I told you, boo-boo, that it doesn't have to be that way? What if I told you that there are more efficient ways to get it done, but you just got to invest into your creativity? You just got to invest into yourself and practice your craft because if you're if you're like most who's going throughout society where they're kind of just sleepwalking they're kind of just going through the flow there's no real destination that they're aimed at right these are the type of people that just like to ride like hey let's just go for a ride where are you going bro right let's just cruise around man like you you have to have a destination nowadays you need to know where you're going because there are so many different alternative routes what is up everybody happy new year welcome to january 3rd 2019 yes it's been a minute and so as you've seen i've just gotten prepared for my morning ritual you know i'm going back to the gym i'm bringing into the new year about an extra 10 15 pounds of wholesome (laughs) wholesomeness and uh you know i want to share something with you as, as as we all i think we all walk into 2019 um, kind of conditioned already, right? Because we've literally probably spent the last couple of months and like, hey, I'm gonna do this next year, I'm gonna do this. Once 2019 comes, man, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, right? And so now the day is here. It's like it's 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 time to ride or die. It's time to put you you know what I mean, put your money where your mouth is, it's time to take action on all of those things that you announce either mentally or externally right like if you put it out there and you're like hey i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this and you get to the point where now it's it's time to show it's time to to demonstrate what the hell you were talking about and i think we all have it in some way shape or form right whether it's uh working harder or hitting a new income bracket or in my case it's it's getting back to my optimal health and 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 ideal weight right now that's my that's my primary goal right and of course building a pipeline but that's every single month though boo boo so we have these 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 milestones that we've kind of envisioned going into 2019 and i want to do a commitment with you i want to get as interactive as possible in 2019 i want to get more interactions so speaking of which every single time i enlighten you any single time every single time that i provide any value or content that that you agree with is 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 great content right do me one solid all i ask is that you hit this you hit the like button and you comment below it could be a, an emoji right it could just be some sort of interaction just say hey d thank you have a good morning have a good day i appreciate you that's all it is because the almighty algorithms rule these platforms and it's either that or go refer me to like 50 people <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Wear a t-shirt with my handle on it. You know, I'm not gonna go that far, but what I will ask of you is for stopping by and for me dropping some gold and me helping you improve your day or improve the experience that you have throughout your day. All that I'm asking is that you do me one solid in return. Give me something that helps me in return. And that's hitting that like button, commenting below, and, and the engagement is what this algor- what sets off these algorithms now. And so that's my focus, is to expand and grow this channel because I've helped so many of, uh, of people throughout the country, some not even loan officers, even though this may be a loan officer niche uh, uh, a channel, I think all in all, it's anyone who wants to just challenge himself, who wants to become better than they were the day before, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm gonna turn off these lights, and it's gonna get a bit dark, right? Like... <laughs> don't get scared boo boo it's getting dark because it's barely you know 6 15 a.m in the morning and that's part of the morning ritual and i gotta i gotta admit something to you guys is that i've been off for a minute i've taken some time to myself i've i've kind of eased off the gas pedal if you will with guys going all out going ham and it was based on doctor's orders right like doctor was like hey man you know you need a little bit more sleep in your life um, get a little bit more sleep, really kind of just slowed the fuck down is what he was trying to say. And so I took his advice in the process of in case of, you know, if you don't remember, I was getting my kitchen done at the, towards the end of the year. Um, you know, with, when you don't have a kitchen in your house or you don't have a kitchen period, 
Like there's nothing that you appreciate more than what you don't have. And that's that's probably a good piece of advice to understand going into the new year. And I had experienced that at the end of last year. Without having a kitchen, you there are little there are things that you just kind of take for granted you wish you had back. Like the simplicity of just going to wash your hands. <laughs> Right, like, or the simplicity of just going to your fridge to grab some water, or going to your pantry to grab something you need. Right, there's these these little actions that I had to redirect myself. My family had to redirect ourselves because we moved our kitchen to our garage, and so you know our our oven, our stove was our microwave. Right, like uh, things change, and so in order to adapt, you kind of you know you you adopt certain actions that j you weren't commonly doing. Our actions that we adopted was we were going out a lot, like we ate out a lot, and man, did I take advantage? I mean, you know, one thing that you realize when you go out to eat. And I hope that we go into 2019 being a little bit more conscious about our health and our intake. Um, you know, I learned this through observation because I was going through restaurants at least four or five times a week. And, and I thought to myself, how do people who, who live on the or work on the road, how do they survive? How do they get by, right? And what I found is that is that going to these restaurants, not only is the food so processed, but the servings are gigantic. Like if you think about it, that's, that's way more than what any general individual should be consuming, but yet we get conditioned to consume as much. Because each each restaurants are their competitors, right? Unless you go to this these real high class restaurants, like these, you know, these foo foo restaurants that give you many bite sized servings. But there's not too many of those around, right? We end up going to a place where you don't need reservations. You're not going to be charged 800 bucks for an hors d'oeuvre, right? So we end up going to these these common places like Olive Garden or um, you know another like uh, uh, man, what was that? Is it Lost Dogs? <laughs> Don't hey, I might be Filipino, but I don't eat dogs, bro. What I'm talking about is there's this one restaurant has some with with the name dogs. Anyway, I'll get back to that. But there's a lot of these restaurants, these 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 general uh, chain restaurants where you go to, and they're good like maybe 10, 15, 20 bucks uh, per mint per menu item, right, or per entree. And so these servings are not only packed with just these just these processed contents right like, they, like you have to really remember like what you're eating was actually made a good six weeks ago and there's something wrong, there's something wrong with that it's not supposed to be like that boo boo but anyway fast forward to now you know it does something to your metabolism it does something to your mood like you become lethargic um, you start losing kind of motivation and, and, and y y your pants get tight. And so I'm not saying that my kitchen is the reason why, you know, we had to go out to eat. I think a lot of it had to do is because we simply choose the easier route. Like what's the fastest, easiest route, right? And this is something that we can, we can really observe and go into 2019 at least aware of because as I'm getting back into my morning routine and as I'm getting back into the gym, what 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 i realize sometimes will hold me back is probably the same thing that will hold everyone else back and it's the fact that we are sometimes too focused on the route we're too focused on the process right we're not as focused on the actual destination and so i for example my destination is going to be about good 15 pounds lighter than what i am now be back into that back into that powerful mindset be be light on my feet again right and i'm ready for the challenge but at the end of the day that's my destination you see i like many can get caught up with looking at the process but like oh yeah but then i gotta wake up two hours earlier you know it's still winter time it's cold in the morning oh man and then then i gotta get ready for the gym then i gotta go to the gym i could be too focused on the process but what if I told you that there are certain ways to get to that destination? There are certain hacks and alternatives and opportunities that we have today to help us get to that destination more efficiently, right? Like before, back in the day, like 
like I don't know before pre-workouts or before um, multivitamins or what have you what did our ancestors have to rely on what they had to rely on boo boo was sugar they probably had to eat sugar cubes cubes right and so we have to really recognize the opportunities that we have now what do we have now now I could bring I could bring my 498 song playlist with me before you couldn't do that right unless you were rocking like some huge Sony Walkman CD player with the corded, <laughs> with the corded uh uh, uh, headphones you know um but no you don't do that anymore i got like little mini like me in my case i got beats right but but you know you could put little pieces of device inside your ear and you'll have anything and everything with you at that time you got the internet plugged into a computer that's in your pocket and so there are things that will help you get motivated right like i like to feed my brain sometimes i like to listen to, to specific type of music to get into that zone but there are just a lot of alternatives that help the journey to that destination um, become more more uh, enjoyable right where if we get a little bit too focused on the process and you could apply this to anything in life you could apply this to maybe you're on your on your way to uh, to that next level of production or to that next tier of production and sometimes we focus on the process and be like oh but yeah I got to make 10 extra calls or oh but yeah that probably means I got to work Saturday and Sunday or oh but yeah that probably means I'm never going to see my family again well what if I told you boo boo that it doesn't have to be that way what if I told you that there are more efficient ways to get it done but you just got to invest into your creativity you just got to invest into yourself and practice your craft because if you're if you're like most who's going throughout society where they're kind of just sleepwalking, they're kind of just going through the flow. There's no real destination that they're aimed at, right? These are the type of people that just like to ride. Like, hey, let's just go for a ride. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> right? Let's just cruise around. Man, like you, you have to have a destination nowadays. You need to know where you're going because there are so many different alternative routes just like there are so many different alternative resources online to get information to to wind up in the same destination, we all want to be successful. We all want to be helpful. We all want to be, uh, you know, content at peace. We want to be mindful, right? We want to we want to be better, right? Most often, and there are so many different options and alternatives to reach that state, but sometimes we can get blinded if we don't have a plan of where the destination is oftentimes it's just because we don't know what we want like who we are and it's going to take some time to really kind of narrow that down but i hope to help you find that in 2019 you see this sign where it says remaster it's not just sales but i'm talking about remaster your mindset remaster yourself understand that you are in an era that enables you to take advantage of opportunities that were never around before. Opportunities that your parents would have achieved so much more with. And if you're not achieving as much, or if you're not putting two and two together, if you're not taking this opportunity to climb to that next level with the abundance of resources that you have before you, whose fault is it? When it comes five, 10 years from now, right? Like, like for example, 2018, some of you guys will agree with me that 2018 flew by. Like, what the hell? Where, what was 2018? What, what the hell happened? You know, it's going to happen like that again in 2020, right? Like, we're going to be back in 2020 today, right? Like, January 3rd, 2020, we're going to look back and like, hey, happy new year. And I'm going to still be here. I'm going to still rock my thing. I'm going to still do what I do because I'm destined to do that and understand who I am and understand where I'm going and understand what I'm doing. But if you don't understand where you're going, you don't understand what you're doing, then the question of where you will be in 2020 is not there. What, what is there is like, well, what are we going to do this weekend? Or whose house are we going to party at? Or what am I going to watch, you know, when I get home? Like that, if you, that's as far as you see and there's no actual orchestrated plan of where you expect to be and demand yourself to be at any specific time, you can't hold yourself accountable or create the roots and the the pathways to get there so that's step number one and so for example my pathway and i get it i'm patient with it so you know i understand that i'm not gonna lose 15 pounds right away right like i understand i'm not gonna lose x amount of pounds and get to my optimal health 
unless I create a strategic journey. And so your path may be a little bit different. Your path may be like, I wanna make an extra 10 grand per month. But, but don't get caught up in the process. Don't think it's harder than it actually is. Remember, boo-boo, what you have in front of you now is resources. You just gotta be careful and strategic with what resources you listen to. So here's my advice for the day. I'm gonna give you one tip of the day. I'm gonna give you one thing that I'm, gra I'm grateful for. And this is kind of be the way that I end my, my, my vlogs now, right? And how I, because I want to change it. I want to do something a little bit different. But one of my helpful pieces of advice is that you know we want x right like something x x is you fill it in however with whatever and 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 whenever you want right like you want you know more money you want more happiness you want more love you want whatever it is you put that in that little spot marked x i want blank in order to really get it to truly get it and to get it fast is you have to listen to people who already have blank or whoever have more love, whoever have more money, whoever have more abundance, whoever has more peace. You have to find that person. Now, mind you, because there is such an abundance of resources, you gotta be careful for these smoking mirrors. You gotta be careful for that 24 seven sales pitch. You gotta be careful because there's a lot of marketing you know, people out there that will show you the glamour and glitz, that will rent the, the, the private jet, right but they don't really live that lifestyle like there are a lot of people right now like like that that may be on your feed with a hundred thousand uh followers but they rent or they still live with their parents or they don't really got that money or they'll go withdraw all their cash from the bank all whopping three grand in ones boo boo and throw it on the bed but what happens when that video shoot is over is they they pick that bitch up they make sure they don't they don't leave any one of those dollars anywhere heaven forbid and they go deposit it back in the bank because that's all they got for their rent so we got to understand that there are you know smoke and mirrors going in because there's it's so easy now to put out content but when you find the real person and when you see for yourself that they're doing what you want to do or they're at the level that you want to do all you got to do is listen to them that's one piece of helpful advice but i think it, it sounds so simple but a lot of people simply do not do it they instead they'll they'll be more inclined to take advice from someone because visually on their feed they see the highlight wheel and be like oh man is that a rolls royce like these motherfuckers sit like this you think that shit's not done on purpose like they go like this right because so you can see the rr of that rented vehicle like that 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 shit's all like strategized to get your attention right um, you know, like Ty Lopez, like Ty Lopez, if you ever see an ad from him, he's pulling out all nine cars from his mansion. Like, man, where are you going to go with all your nine cars, bro? Right. But everyone, there's a fleet of them. And then he went part like that was one of the reason ads, but it's all for for attention. It's all for to uh, generate lust and generate envy and and put you in a position where like, man, I want to be like that. And so sometimes those those smoke and mirrors can make us believe that that they are living that lifestyle. But little did we know, and I'm not saying this about Ty Lopez, but I'm saying this about a majority of motherfuckers on this on, you know, in this in this social media game is that that's not really their lifestyle. So you got to be careful. But when you find someone genuine, listen to them. Now, one thing that I'm very grateful for, and I hope that you're grateful for too, is another breath of fresh air, is another waking moment, is I woke up today. And I'm grateful for that because I get to now use my creativity to get closer to my destination and get closer to my end goal. And my end goal is just to be better than I was last year, be better than I was two years ago, be better than I was if anything, for my family, for myself, for my my community, for my neighborhood, for all of you watching right now. You see, my goal is to is to continuously grow and also help anyone within my circle grow with me. So on that note, if you have not, check out salesremaster.com. I've got this community that's just growing with an abundance and I apologize dearly to all the students that were hitting me up last night 
uh, or or people who were interested in becoming students hit me up last night like yo d i used the coupon code and it just was not working if that happened to you i want to address it the reason why it didn't happen or why it wasn't working is because it clearly stated in that email that it expired that day i even extended it out for an additional 24 hours boo boo you should have took advantage of it when you had that opportunity let that be a lesson as we go into 2019 don't overthink things if it's right for you you feel it in your gut just take action because you will get on the other side whether it's it's happiness or whether it's whether it's a win whether it's a failure there will be that moment when you get to a little bit further and you got to look back and look and, and really analyze your decisions and it's either going to be a position of regret or like hey man i missed that opportunity like damn i should have jumped on that shit now or man i'm so glad that i made that that decision and that i took action it's going to be one of those two but here's the upside is that even if it's a failure or even if it's a downside even if it's a point where it's like man i should have done that the bottom line is you got another day you got another breath you woke up this morning so it's either going to be day one or one day get it so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm so glad to be back not only because i want to get myself into a healthier state but i miss y'all <laughs> i miss editing these videos i miss uploading them reading the comments on that note please hit that like button comment and of course share uh, below this video notes, I got uh, links to all my other social media platforms. If you're there, I'm there too, boo-boo. Add me to your feed. Show me some love. Say what's up. And I look forward to helping you dominate 2019 because in reality, you're helping me too, boo-boo. Let me show you everything I know. A jungle slide.